Good afternoon, Retronauts. This is Paleoferrosaurus, otherwise known as Michael Harv McCabe, and this is a Day 30 update for my 2021 Retro Challenge project, the Bell System Model 551B switchboard. First, from an aesthetic perspective, I've managed to strip all of the yellowed, off-white latex paint and refinished the uh, cabinet uh, with some uh, period appropriate shellac. The wood is uh, mahogany, uh, specifically Caribbean mahogany, and uh, has been clear coated with uh, polyurethane. Uh, very beautiful woodwork and it really was really a shame to paint it over to begin with. From an electrical perspective, I have retained as much of the internal wiring as possible. In particular, the line relays and some of the cord relay circuits have been retained and have been reconfigured as a matrix circuit or matrix switch uh, controlled by the TI-994A. The original uh, ringing magneto has been uh, restored to working order and has been retained as a uh, curiosity for demonstration purposes. One of the switchboard accessories I wasn't able to address during this retro challenge was the billing device known as a calculograph. Uh, this was a uh, fairly simple punch clock mechanism that allowed recording of the start and end time of long distance telephone calls and was used for billing purposes. Although it did not actually punch holes in the card the way a card punch did, it did print the start and length of calls uh, as the operator made connections. Uh, to that end, a uh, billing form in the shape of a punch card, normally found with uh, data processing systems of the period, was inserted into the calculograph. And one of two levers was operated to rotate or to record the start time, the second, the end time, and that was printed on the card. Again, I haven't had a chance to uh, work on this uh, particular machine, but uh, as you can see, the uh, punch card was playing a part in telephone billing as of the uh, 1930s. Uh, maybe I can address that in a future retro challenge. Uh, but uh, that's the calculograph. Getting back to the board's user interface, as you see I've had to replace the uh, jack field with uh, modern patch panels. The old jacks were just too corroded to work with. I have yet to construct a status panel uh, that shows the status of each telephone line or extension uh, by illuminating an LED or a lamp. Uh, that's something uh, for the immediate future. I have wired the patch panels in uh, to both telephone uh, CO office lines and extension circuits, as well as a couple of simple DC loops and ring down circuits. So we are able to place calls through the board. At the top of the panel, you can see the uh, Ethernet switch uh, that manages my network connections. Directly below that is a Category 5E patch panel, allowing me to hook my various computers and other uh, network devices into the switch. Below that, are two audio patch panels that have been rewired for telephone use. Uh, basically that consisted of wiring the tip and the ring of each jack to a uh, standard RJ11 telephone uh, jack and uh, hooking up the extensions in the same manner. At the present time I have one central office line uh, through my local telephone carrier. A second uh, voice over IP line is available for outgoing calls and I have a total of seven working cord circuits that allow connections to be made between extensions. 
I also have a uh, simplified uh, ring down circuit and a couple of DC loops for testing purposes. At this time I'll demonstrate a simple uh, patch through the panel, uh, plugging in a butt set and dialing my uh, CO line. As you see, the outgoing call uh, operates normally. Uh, this is going through the telephone company's central office and is not involving the local switch. Using the switchboard in semi-automatic mode, we can first set up a uh, connection on our board here. Now we're going to hook extension 3 into the butt set. And we're going to make a local call uh, using the switchboard electronics. Maybe we'll make a local call. And there we've placed an incoming call directly through the switchboard without involving the telephone central office. I had hoped to uh, do a few more demonstrations with uh, modems and vintage computing equipment, but I'm frankly running out of time. Hopefully I can make an addendum to this video in the next day or so and uh, demonstrate how we're using this uh, for retro computing purposes. In the meantime, this is just an overall look at uh, my switchboard. Thank you for uh, visiting Paleoferrosaurus, and thank you for watching my 2021 Retro Challenge. Good day!